Uh, the best way for me to uh, introduce Dave Hughes is um, to read you a letter in part um, with a, a couple little changes to it that was developed and written uh, by Dave's friends when we sent out a brief field trial history about Dave. In 1950, Dave Hughes was born into a world of bird dogs and field trials. Uh, his father, Dr. Uh, Roger Hughes, a prominent medical doctor in Clearfield, PA, was an avid outdoorsman. He hunted, fished, and his uh, competitive nature took him into the world of pointing dogs uh, and dog trials, and uh, his father uh, bred and campaigned English setters. Clearfield County had a number of other folks who also campaigned dogs, mostly grouse dogs, but some horseback dogs as well. Back then, a number of dogs did both. Dave had several mentors and plenty of local support when he turned pro at age 19. Eight years later, he won his first championship, the Grand National Grouse Championship, the brightest jewel in cover dog trials with T. Berry, a setter dog who was bred and owned by Dave's father. The trial was at Forsalia, New York, near where Hall of Fame trainer Luther Smith lived out his years. Uh, Luther had won the Grand National five times and no one had wanted more. Uh, Luther was inducted into the Hall of Fame in the early 1970s. Two years after Dave's first championship, he married Dorothy Haynes in 1979. Twelve years later, with two young children, Mark and Ann, Dave and Dorothy decided it was time for Dave to quit his side job to train and, and trial full time. He has never looked back. With each dog and with each year, he gained experience and good customers. He now, has, he now has run a string of mostly grouse dogs for more than 40 years. Steadily, the winds have added up. But Dave was never one to take the money and run. He has also been of service to the trial clubs right from the beginning, including the Grand National uh, Grouse since the 1970s, and in a similar capacity, as vice president for the Pennsylvania Grouse Trout Clubs. During his involvement, entries have grown enormously, and in most years, the Grand and the Pennsylvania will draw the most entries, sometimes as many as 100 dogs. Moreover, his home grounds, the now eight hour long courses near Marionville, PA, require a large workforce to cut and maintain it. Dave has been a fixture of those work parties for decades. He has also dropped sweat on work days at many other venues. Moreover, he has said yes numerous times to that thankless job of judging. He has sat in the judicial saddle for many weekend club trials, numerous horseback trials, as well as prominent championships, maturities, and classics. For most admirers of class bird dogs, though, Dave will be known for his trial record. For a good chunk of his career, there were only four or five grouse and woodcock championships around the country. Nevertheless, Dave has won 104 championships with three different breeds of dogs and was awarded another 85 runner-up titles. More than 90 of those championship victories were held on wild birds. Dave has joined the ranks of John Rex Gates, George Tracy, and Sean Kinkler by becoming the fourth person to have won more than 100 championships in a lifetime. Hall of Fame handler and trainer Luther Smith's five-time uh, Grand National Championship wins five decades hence still places Luther second on the all-time Grand Wins list. Dave Hughes stands atop of that list with 13 Grand National Championship titles with 13 different dogs. In addition, he has won the Grand National Grouse and Woodcock Invitational Championship eight times, the Pennsylvania Grouse Championship 13 or 14 times, the Lake States Grouse Championship nine times, the New England Open Grouse Championship nine times. These along with at least four other championships are records. Dave likewise has accumulated more Purina Cover Dog of the Year awards than any other handler. Though we are told, quote, records were made to be broken, unquote, Many in the cover trial community have stated these and other records held by Dave Hughes will not be approached, let alone be toppled. His record of accomplishments alone speaks for itself. However, it is his unselfish devotion to the sport and class bird dogs 
that sets him apart and makes him most worthy for this field trial hall of fame. And I would like to end with the words of Harold Ray. <clears throat> Harold said to me, and we quoted him in the American Field ad for Dave, Dave Hughes has been and is the type of person that the Field Trial Hall of Fame was designed to honor. And on the light side, Dave is very competitive. And it's, it's kind of enjoyable to go up to the kennel and up on the hill and train dogs with him, especially as an amateur and anyone else in the area that's around Dave's kennel will stop and train dogs with him for a day. There's never a charge. You're always welcome. In fact, if you're braced with Dave during the trial, he'll most times help you to his own demise where he'll lose the trial and you'll win. Um, Dave also likes to fish and we go up to Canada every year and fish and uh, Dave's always trying to set some record. Um, but for some reason, this time, he got confused a little bit. He thought it was much harder to catch the smallest fish <laughs> rather than to catch the biggest. Uh, Dave Fletcher has a few things to add to this. Uh, Dave, I'll let you explain. Thank you, Joe. I was there at Dave's first trial in in the cover dog world in 1970. This is a plaque from the Grand National Grouse that hangs over here in our display, over this part of the building. I want to read you a sentence or two from it. Dave Hughes began to trial professionally about 1970. Over the next four and a half decades, he would break every record for championships and wins in the history of cover, of cover trials, developing some of the most successful and proponent dogs in the sports history. Winning 100 championships is, is a mark that very few have ever accomplished, and the ones that that game is something that likely will never be uh, matched. His accomplishments were honored by the Field Trial com Community in 2015 with his election to the Field Trial Hall of Fame. The Mid-Atlantic region now echoes that honor and proudly names Dave Hughes as Legends of the Covered Dog World. Thank you. I promised my wife I wouldn't carry too far with this, but I'd like to thank her for her support. She's been with me through thick and thin on all this field trials. Many times I come home at night with a nice supper made and I'm on the phone telling somebody about, well, your dog did okay today, but, you know, <laughs> the usual thing. And I'd sit down, they've eaten and left. <laughs> but again, I owe a lot to her, my family, Mark is starting to get involved in field trailing. My daughter, Ann, and my brother, Raj, came with me, which is really great. Uh, just a little bit, Joe, thanks so much for everything. If somebody's going to run for office, like President of the United States, this guy right here could do the job, I'll tell you. He really did a wonderful job for me. And also, Roger McPherson, very helpful. And I could go on from there. Uh, Lloyd Murray, I had a lot of people came, the Johnsons, a lot of people that run grouse dogs and grouse trials. A uh, <clears throat> little story I'll bring up and then I'll finish up. Years back, I, uh, Gene Galloway, who was a grouse dog trainer horseback, this is back a few years, got me a little place to go and train dogs in Georgia. So, I was nervous and loaded up the dogs and drove down and I met a gentleman by the name of Kyle Minus who did all age and so forth. And he wasn't a trainer, he was an amateur, but uh, I was helping him, he was helping me and I learned a lot from him. And I decided to go to a trial in Florida. So I loaded up the horses and I'm driving down through and the signs there kept saying, you know, all horse trailers to the right. And I thought, well, I, you know, I missed the road, so I kept going. The next thing I realized, lights were shining, I was pulled over, 
And the guy got on and said, what the heck are you doing? I said, what are you talking about? Didn't you read the sign? I said, no, I'm a little illiterate. I don't know how to read, so I had to work something out. <laughs> he says, where are you going? I said, a field trial. He says, do you have any papers? I said, papers for what? On these horses. And I did, I handed it to him. He says, son, I'm going to give you 24 hours. You get out and run your trial and get out of this state. <laughs> So that was the last time I ran a field trial down in Florida. So, <laughs> and I don't know if Collier Smith, uh, is, he's not. Collier, I don't know if you remember this, but I went to a trial called the Skinningham Puppy Classic. And I had entered a dog there and I was sort of scared because I pulled in and it was nothing but a airport. And it was flat, there was no objectives. And I've been working the dog on, you know, hard in the fields. And, but I thought, boy, I'm, I'm out of place here. So I turned this dog loose, and he was braced with uh, Freddie Epp. And I'm out there riding, and everybody's screaming, the setter's on the skyline. I couldn't see the dog, because I was, you know. So I kept turning the horse, because it was a circle that we ran in. And I got to the back of the course, and they had burned it. And of course, the setter I was running was black. Oh. The only thing you could see is the red collar I had on him. And I noticed when I was singing to him and he was coming around, right behind him was a pointer chasing him. And I thought, you know, this, this pointer's chased him all over the course. So I ended and everybody's saying, what a remarkable dog you ran. You made the announcement, I didn't place. The dog braced with my dog, got second. Freddie up come over and shook my hand and he said, Dave, he said, that was one heck of a dog you ran. He made mine look great. I got second place. I got nothing out of it. <laughs> Collier's dad came up and said to me, Dave, you got to go to the Dixie. That dog will win. I said, I needed to win this to have enough money so I could go. <laughs> but that's, you know, their stories goes on through life. And one thing I'd like to tell everybody you say the part of, okay, walking stakes, covered dog, horseback. I've done it all through horseback. I didn't do all age, though. I stayed in the shooting dog. But we're all one family. We need to stay together. Regardless of what you've got, we've got to be together. And that togetherness is what we need. Whether it's somebody who runs a small trial right up to the biggest trial. We're all field trialers. We're all dog trainers, we're all amateurs, whatever. We need to stay together, and I'm preaching that very hard. There's no separation. I could take five of my best dogs and give them to a horseback shooting dog guy to take his five. I will guarantee you that he'll win with those five, and I'll win with his. It's how you train the dog. It's not whose dog's this and whose dog's that. We're one family. Please, let's all stay together. And again, I owe thanks to Purina for what they do, the American field. Uh, everything's been just fantastic. And a lot of people came to support me. And I'll say one thing. This is one place. I've never been here before, but I see people I knew years and years ago, and I'm going to be joined with them. And what an honor. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Folks, what a day. This is my good friend Dave Hughes, a man who's helped me tremendously over the years. Today was his day, inducted into the Hall of Fame. Dave, what does that mean to you? It's everything in the world that any dog trainer, owner, whatever, it's an honor to be accepted in the Hall of Fame. My picture's with some of the greats. This place is the first time I've been down here. I, I, I stress everybody ought to come. The dogs of yesteryear, today, the dogs of whatever. It's just fascinating. It's hard to say everything thing, but uh, whoever supported me and pushed me through on this Hall of Fame, 
it's uh, it's it's just unreal. I can't explain it in words, but thanks to everybody, and it's such great this bird dog world. Trust me, it's it's a lot of fun. Thank you. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, and Canine Active.